When I was young, I wanted to be a ballet dancer more than anything else in the world. But I also was that generation of the first moon landings. And my parents bought me a telescope. So I had a telescope very young in life, looked at the moon, and that's when I was completely hooked. It's very humbling to study astronomy, but you're constantly being asked, how do you know what you know? When I got to UCLA, the question I decided to ask was, is there a supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy? And with the Keck telescope, being the largest telescope in the world, I had the opportunity to answer that question. After basically a decade of work, we really were able to show that there was a supermassive black hole. And the fun part of this is that the technology has evolved so much that our ways of seeing the center of the galaxy had changed radically, and we discovered things that we didn't even think to ask. My research has been recognized in a number of ways. Most importantly, the Crawford Prize. It was the first time this prize in any field had been given to a woman. When I was studying, there certainly weren't a lot of girls studying math, science, and engineering. And it's really been a priority to bust that concept, that it's not just boys that do science, it's girls. UCLA is a great environment for fostering new ideas. I think it encourages young girls to understand that this is a playground that they can come play in. We're all on this tiny little planet on a shared adventure. And this is a great opportunity to understand the fundamental building blocks of our universe. Let there be discoveries. Let there be new ways of thinking. Let there be a place where you can reach for the stars.